What's going on everybody? It is U-Turn Crowbat here and you are watching U-Turn Central. Now I am bringing you another Wi- I am bringing you another Wi-Fi battle against Zane. Um, this is a, this was a pretty interesting battle because I am bringing a whole new team. I am bringing my I am bringing back my Exadrill. I'm bringing my Garchomp, Togekiss, Golurk, Electros, and my and my Toxicroak. Now this was uh, like I said, it was rather interesting, I guess to say the least. So let's get right down to it, shall we? Uh, this was a pretty great battle. I know I kind of keep saying that, but um, it was, I had fun. That's kind of what I wanted to do was just have fun with it. So he goes out into his bennet, and I'm kind of thinking, you know, I'm going to throw my extra drill because if I can get uh, a rock slide up, then that will be helpful. I know that it's not weak to rock, but it does do damage. So I go, I use, I end up using my sword stance because if I can get maximum damage off on Bennett or any of his other Pokemon, then I'll be set. Now, he does knock off my leftovers, but I'm not too worried about that because, I mean, right this right now I don't really need that. Um, I mean, it would have come in handy, but like if that Will O Wisp would have hit, those leftovers would have come in handy. But luckily, it didn't. So he ends up using Sucker Punch on me, and it doesn't really do too much. It doesn't really take me out. I mean, it does more than I wanted to, but with my two Sword Stances up, I end up using my Rock Slide, and I take out the Bennett. Now, I'm kind of thinking of who he's going to bring in. Now, I kind of... I should probably be taking pictures of uh, my opponent's Pokemon, so I know who he has left and all of that. He ends up bringing out his Greninja. Now, uh, I have battled plenty, plenty of Greninjas in the past. Now, I use my Rock Slide on it, and it does take the Greninja out, thankfully, because I know that that Greninja would have caused so much issues for me. Um, but he goes on to a Staraptor, Staraptor, and I'm thinking, you know, well, that would be awesome if I could get the Rock Slide up, but he is out, he does outspeed me, and he takes me out the close combat. Now, that is a great, great move to have on a Straptor, because, I mean, not... People who are new to competitive battling, I guess, won't really expect that, and I guess it's a decent move now that I think about it. It's a decent move to have on it. Um, I'm the kind of guy who likes to teach Pokemon moves that they would normally know. Like, well, I guess a, like a, I guess a, a, I guess a bird, you know, could, <laughs> could uh, learn that um, while it charges at you and just destroys your face. Um, but I do end up taking it out, and he does go out into Samurai. Now, I'm thinking, who can I, who can I use to take this Samurott out? I go out into my Electros, and he does hit me with a Hydro Pump. And, it doesn't really do, I mean, it does more than I expected, it does more than I want it to, but, um, I, I am able to live, and this was a great prediction on his part, because he was thinking I was gonna do something of this sort. So, he goes on to his Blissey, and, you know, Blissey's a tank, and I do, and I did get the Giga off on Blissey, and I do get a decent amount of HP recovery back, which is a plus, which is what I wanted, so, um, I do end up going back out into my Iron Giant, my Golurk, my shiny Golurk, because it does no Drain Punch, and Blissey is weak to fighting, now he, now Blissey ends up using the Ice Beam on me, and it doesn't do too much. I mean, it, I guess it does a little bit more than I wanted to, but uh, I'm not really too concerned at this point because I can take another Ice Beam. So while he switches out, um, which is another good prediction on his part, I end up do hitting the Samurai with a Drain Punch. Now, even though Samurai isn't weak to it, it does a maximum amount of damage because it does get him to, I can't, can't even really tell how much HP he has left. Um, probably like 40 HP, I don't know. Um, so I switch out to my Toxic Rope because I want to try and uh, just destroy, you know, just try and take out some more of his pokes. While he does hit me with the Grass Knot, which doesn't do too much, he did have a good prediction because if that Grass Knot would have hit my Golurk, then um, that would have done quite a bit of damage. Golurk is a big giant beast, so. Um, while I do get him down pretty bad, he does hit me with the Ice Beam, which is a decent amount, it's a crit, so it does more than, you know, what I thought it was going to do, but because it's a crit, it does more. Um, so I hit him with a Sucker Punch and takes him out right there. Now, 
I now at this point I'm thinking, you know, who else can I kind of hit? Who else can I kind of take out? Now I do get the Black Sludge recovery while he brings out his Luxray. Um, I have battled a few Luxrays before. I, I really do like the shiny Intimidate Luxray, but I battled a few Luxrays before. So I switch out into my um, my Garchomp, I believe. And so, because I want to hit him with an EQ. I want to hit him with an Earthquake and take him out right then and there. But he hits me with the Ice Fang, and even though it is Ice, my Garchomp is a bulky, bulky Garchomp. I... I know an Ice Beam would have taken me out, but the Ice Fang doesn't, thankfully. But the Luxray does get damaged by my Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin, while I go out for my Earthquake and take him out right here. Now, I'm thinking, you know, who who is he going to bring out next? Who can I hit with a... Who can I hit with a Dragon Claw or an Earthquake? Now, he does go back out into his Blissey. And both of my moves don't really work on Blissey, so I use Protect just to kind of feel it out. Now, the Blissey used Ice Beam again. Um, and so I kind of figured it was going to do that, but I just kind of wanted to see what his other moves were, if he was going to use others, but because I did bring up my guard shop, you know, he did obviously uh, use a nice move. So I switch out into my Golark, my Iron Giant, and while he, while Iron Giant does take the Ice Beam, it does a pretty good amount, but I hit the Blissey with the Drain Punch right there, and I do get <laughs> some HP back, not that it really matters, but um, I... I do hit him with a Drain Punch, which is, which is a pretty good move because the reason why, I don't really want to say rely on Drain Punch, but I do use it quite a bit with most of my Pokemon, if not all, um, is because I do get that, uh, that HP recovery back. Now, there are more fighting moves that I could use, like Mach Punch for instance, but I don't know. That's just me. I prefer Drain Punch. I just prefer it. I don't know. So, um, this was a, this was a quick battle. Um, I know I brought you some, like, I don't know, like, 10 minute battles or whatever before. Um, and those are, those aren't bad. Those aren't too bad. They're, they're not too short. But I feel like this one is pretty short. So, I'm going to try and do something special to kind of boost the time on this. Um, but... Let me know what you guys thought of the battle in the comment section below. And make sure you guys are CS. Rate, comment, and subscribe, alright? Take care, guys. What's going on, everybody? It's U2 Crobat, and I am here recording another vlog. My third one. Um, I am here with my best friend, and we are in Franconia Notch. Chris, say hi. Ah, Sonic Retro's King of Hearts here. Do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I am like a starving beggar. I've only got four subscribers. <laughs> Now, take a look at how lovely everything is. And there is Chris. Make sure you go sub to his channel. He does, he does some pretty good work. Um, I have checked them out. Um, I do really like his uh, Sonic games that he's doing, so definitely go check it out. And I'm going to quickly kind of show you some video here of the notch um, where we are surrounded by mountains. Now, are we surrounded by mountains or are we surrounded by mountains and mountain lions? I wish we were surrounded by mountain lions, actually. Oh, That'd be pretty cool. You say that, but I've actually been pretty close to a mountain lion. Not close enough, like, right in front of me, but... Let's go walking just a little bit. Not too far. About the distance from me to that rail right there is about the closest I've ever been to a mountain lion. Oh, let's go look down. Yeah. So, we are about to look down this railing here to see what we can find. Well, there's really... There's really not much. Um, I am going to kind of zoom in on this mountain here. There's a tourist attraction. Right there. Look at that mountain. Isn't it beautiful? Um, because I live in New Hampshire, we are surrounded by all these mountains and um, wildlife. Now, if we were to go um, hiking one of these days or whatever on one of these trails, I'd bring this camera because maybe we would see something. Maybe we wouldn't. We'll see. Um, so... Well, you put the camera on me, we already saw something. <laughs> and now you're gonna lose subscribers. <laughs> Terrific. Look at, but look at all that, though. So, I just kind of want to show you guys, um, all these, you know, wood, the woods and... For the 15th time, mountains. <laughs> I, I bet a shit ton of money that you're gonna have some asshole from New Hampshire saying, I don't like this video, I've already seen this before, just like, blah, you're an asshole. Probably, probably.
I, I wouldn't doubt it. It's it's the internet. You're guaranteed to have at least one of them. Oh, that's true. How many of you that are watching are from an area where you're surrounded by mountains? Um, I know you used to you used to be in Colorado. So like, didn't you have? Yes, we had mountains. We had snow. We had ski trails, and the ski trails were about a thousand point one times better than they are here. Yeah, hopefully one of these days I'll be able to show you guys some of the ski trails. Um, I'm not. Sh they don't have anything that takes you up on them, do they? Yeah, like they, they used. Do. We passed by like uh, down that way. There was uh, a couple ski trails, and then there was a ski lift that goes up. You can't really tell when the snow is melted though, because you can't see it. Huh. So there was that. I'm going to hopefully bring you guys up on one of those. Uh, we'll see what happens. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this "Do Not Enter" sign. Well, that's a good way to encourage people to enter and watch our videos with a do not enter sign. Ooh. Maybe that could be my avatar for my YouTube channel, a do not enter sign. That would be a great avatar. Oh yeah, <laughs> that'll really convince people to subscribe. Oh, do not enter, okay. Fuck. All right guys, have a great day. Peace. Uh, don't ever do that again. I won't. <laughs> now I'm shutting it off.